want to bring your attention to the latest space flight, the ninth uh, human space flight, commercial human space flight by Blue Origin with its new Shepard suborbital orbital vehicle. Uh, countdown is happening right now. Uh, and uh, it's going to carry a six-person crew just past the edge of space, past the Kármán line. This is going to be a 10 to 11-minute suborbital trip. There's going to be weightlessness. They're going to see the curvature of the Earth. Uh, this is the 28th launch of Blue Origin's new Shepard vehicle overall. And as I mentioned, this is the ninth space tourism mission. Uh, so that is West Texas on your screen. Let's listen into this countdown. Five, four, command engine start. Two, one, ignition. Heading to space. Follow along with us on your screen. We have velocity so picking up. We're six gaining person crew, Six person crew, including Emily Calangelli, who's known as the Space Gal. She's a best selling author, science communicator, communicator, has hosted a, a number of shows. Uh, you also have some repeat Blue Origin customers on board as well, which speaks to perhaps the uh, appeal of traveling to the edge of space. Uh, and of course, this is the latest mission, as I just mentioned, for Jeff Bezos Blue Origin, which has a number of other projects underway as well, including its orbital uh, semi reusable rocket, New Glenn, which is still pushing towards possibly a launch, a first launch before the end of this year. And uh, just earlier this week, Blue Origin and SpaceX both getting awarded new contracts by NASA for their lunar lander projects as well. So just keep an eye on that. This is going to be about a 10-minute flight past the edge of space. Uh, and it's the latest in this commercial space evolution, this era that we talk so much about. Paying passengers on here? Paying passengers. Okay. We don't know how much they're paying. But they are paying. Uh, speaking of uh, SpaceX, anyway, uh, after that heavy launch uh, this week, the comments about another 400 maybe launches in the next four years, we're going to get used to this stuff. We have gotten some very ambitious comments from Gwen Shotwell, the president and COO of SpaceX. Perhaps unsurprisingly, this is, of course, how Elon Musk's companies operate. They put these very ambitious forecasts out there. Maybe they hit them on time, maybe they don't, but at some point they typically do. And I think that's the thing to watch when you're talking about Doge and the policy implications and the deficit imp implications, because taking that approach, that lean and mean, move fast approach, disruptive approach to government is going to be very interesting to watch.